And good morning, hello, bom dia a todos que estão aqui nos a ver. Este é o The, Ro the Rugby World Cup 23 uh, Road, and today we have Patrice Lajeski with us. O programa vai ser todo em inglês, como perceberam, por isso hoje a entrevista é com a Associação Nacional Patrice Lajeski, que vai estar com Portugal neste Mundial, depois de ter-nos guiado nos últimos 5 anos. So, it's going to be in English, and I'm going to start first. Uh, head coach, thank you for your time with us. I hope everything in Perpignan is going is doing fine. And, and let me start with a hard question: Will Portugal make a surprise in this Rugby World Cup? Oh, it de it depends what uh, what is a surprise for you. <laughs> If it means uh, win a game, uh, we we all dream about uh, about this. But uh, as you know, we have a very difficult pool, and they. Um, We will have uh, four teams uh, who are very close to each other and uh, will compete to, to qualify for the, the quarterfinal. And we we will try to exist in that pool uh, <laughs> to put some troubles. <laughs> But um, uh, saying that we will uh, win a game, uh, uh, it's a, it will be a bit uh, pretentious. <laughs> okay, so we'll go back to it. How do you rate that June and July training camps? And did the squad excel with what you and the staff ask from them? Ah, uh, yes. The, 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 the preparation was really good. Uh, players worked physically a lot. Uh, they have really improved in the strengths, in the speed and the, uh, in the physical qualities, you know. For the first, for, for some of them, maybe half of the group, They were uh, training for the first time as uh, professional rugby players, training every day, and uh, and they have done a, they have done a good job. We were expecting them to uh, to do things uh, faster and faster, and it's really the way they they have done the, the, the sessions, and uh, they were really committed. Uh, now I I feel that they they think about the competition. Uh, they, they want to they, they want to compete. <laughs> compete that's a very good word uh which portugal trained with ireland played against usa we had a game also at australia last week we had a meeting with samoa um did you want another test match or do you think this experience were enough to get the team ready for the world cup uh i would like to have uh, another test match because uh, uh it would have been great to 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 have all the players uh playing in, in With the team uh, before the, the the beginning of the World Cup, it was not possible. That's why we we needed to to organize some uh, some session with opposition, with Ireland, with Samoa, uh, and finally, it's uh, I think it's it's uh, yeah, it was a, a good uh, mix of uh, of game and sessions uh, with some very tough sessions uh, against Ireland and um, and Samoa and. Uh, For the players uh, now, they 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 know what is uh, playing against uh, the best team in the world at the moment, uh, Ireland, uh, and against uh, aliens like uh, Samoa, like Fiji, uh, who are who can be fast, huge, uh, very very strong in the contact. Uh, they they we won't have any surprise now. Uh, and it's what was important uh, for us as a staff. It was to 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 help the players to to be able to to understand to uh, to be able to play against any uh, any opposition. In your opinion, what did they improve in the squad between the last game we did against Georgia uh, in March and now in August uh, in September before the World Cup? So, what areas? Did uh, they what what we have improved uh, the most is the the speed in all the things that we do technically physically uh, we've worked a lot also on our capacity to, in defense to to rush more to defend with two tacklers uh, um, we i think we yes we since the game against uh, georgia uh, we've we've improved a lot uh, we were You know, we we were working on the the, the standards, the exigencies uh, of the international level, of the best international level. We we had uh, we were wearing a GPS, and we could um, uh, we could work on the number of accelerations, the high speed running. You know, all the the all these um, 
items that are very important to if you want to compete uh, during the World Cup. In the terms of competing, um, the, the Ford, since you came into the national team, became something big. We now dominate, score tries by mole. How was this possible? Can you explain how did you, did you and your staff raise this uh, from, to a level that we can be uh, uh, not worried but happy with it? Uh, we had first we had to change mentalities mm -hmm. and to explain that uh, uh, that even if you are a player uh, playing in the Portuguese championship, you can if you are well organized. In the in the scrum, in the line out, in the malls, you can be efficient. And uh, we had also to to add the the experience of uh, the players who play who are professional in France, like Mike Tadger, like um, uh, Chico Fernandez or uh, Antonio Alves. Uh, and uh, we we have also a player like Zemadera, uh, who is now becoming a, who is professional for three years in in France. Uh, playing for the two as a second row, and um, uh, we and, and we also have have had good coaches. You know, Hervé Ducati has done a, a very very good job uh, with him. Lois Pissarra also did a very good job, and now David Gerard, an experienced forward coach, is also helping the team to um, to improve and, and to to grow up. And uh, and as you've seen during the The, the European Championship this year, we could score tries at the end of the game against Spain, against Romania, uh, which would have been considered as uh, something impossible just uh, three or four years ago. <laughs> and, that, and that's very important for us. About that final 10 minutes, do you think Portugal now is a team that can endure that last leg of the of the match or the last 15 minutes? Ah, it's uh, it's the the it was the the yes. One of the uh, things that we we needed to change uh, to be able to qualify in Dubai, uh, we've changed the our attitudes. We've changed uh, and we've worked a lot on the on our scenario on how to make uh, a crucial decisions uh, decision in the last minutes, um, and we have to to keep working on that. Uh, and what is important is also that uh, the players who who come in uh, must feel, and it's a reality, uh, they are as important as the players who are starting the game because they they will finish the job. <laughs> finish the job. Um, about the job, Portugal is a team that likes to take risks and play over the place. Was this always your idea for the Lobos when you step in as a head coach? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the, 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 the beginning of the... the, the... Uh, the Portugal is a team that likes to play with the ball and like ah, yes, 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 yes. was this always your idea for the lobos oh yes it's uh, you know it's the it's the one of the main qualities of portuguese rugby it's the the dna i i, I always say it's the dna of uh portuguese rugby and uh and it's also the rugby that i like that i used to play with the the french team uh with my friends philippe Sela, serge blanco all these uh, famous players and uh, and um I, did, I, I, I had not to change that, just to to build things, to to be able to to do this uh, these things with a lot of speed, uh, you know, and uh, and against uh, stronger defenses. But uh, when you have players like uh, Storti, Marta, uh, Jay Portela, uh, Thomas Appleton, you know, we, uh, Nuno Souza Gage, uh, it's impossible to. To ask them to just uh, kick and, and run, it's the, no, no. They they have the capacity to create uh, incredible things uh, that can work even against the best teams in the world. I'm I'm, I'm sure of that, and uh, they just have now they just have to show it. <laughs> uh, when you came to uh, to the Portuguese Union in 2019, well, what did you expect to find, and were you positively surprised with the younger players? Well, well younger at the time. Now they play for Portugal, but were you surprised by by these youth, new kids that were showing up? Uh, I knew I knew the the Portugal has uh, had good young players. They they had good results with under 20, and that's why also I wanted to have the the members of the staff uh, of under 20 in my staff. Um, and you know, first game I've seen uh, was the final against Japan. 
uh, in 19 uh, against in in Brazil, and uh, I could see that the Portuguese young players were much better rugby players than uh, Japanese. They were not in organized enough in the scrum, in the malls, okay, but. They, they, they were showing a very strong capacity to to score tries um, because they were good rugby players you know they, they their skill their their steps their their capacity to make a decision you know a fast decision it uh, was uh, was already there and uh, uh, and I had I just had to to help them to to do the same thing uh, against uh, stronger teams. Against stronger teams. Uh, about that, I asked already Luis Pizarra about what Portugal must and mustn't do on the World Cup. What are your thoughts about it? What we must do and must and, and avoid at all costs? Uh, what we must and we mustn't do is uh, it's just the same thing. It's we must face our opponents, uh, look uh, look at them uh, eyes in the eyes, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and be ready to to fight uh, whoever is the the opponent. Uh, if we have this uh, mindset, uh, I'm sure we can do we can do very good things. It's uh, but if we just wait because we are impressed, like we did against uh, Australia A a bit, or against uh, Ireland uh, during a part of the of our session, or maybe uh, sometime uh, a few times against uh, Samoa. It will be. It will become difficult. That's a. Uh, then, uh, that's my uh, my answer. It's uh, we have we have to be, to be confident in our in our capacities, and we have to to be committed and to play with uh, our rugby. One and just one hundred percent. You said now a, a beautiful phrase, our rugby. Uh, do you see a bright future for Portugal after the World Cup? And what advice would you give? To the Portuguese rugby community for this World Cup and after it. Ah, for me, for me, what what will be important is to to help the the clubs uh, to to have all the, the all the young players uh, who will uh, enjoy to see uh, rugby, who will uh, discover rugby during the World Cup, and uh, there must be federation has to help them to. To, to be able to, to 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 receive all these new players and uh, to make them uh, love rugby and uh, and then to have a, a bigger base of uh, rugby players for the future uh, this is the, the, the maybe the, the main thing and uh, and what will be important is to keep working well with Lusitanos to have a, a team uh, professional or half professional team because it has helped us a lot uh, to develop uh, uh, Portuguese rugby players, Portuguese rugby players who play in the Portuguese Championship, and uh, it has to become uh, really the the, uh, the base for the for the national team. You know, uh, still working with the, quite the same staff, and uh, uh, and uh, and what will be important is to to do. Uh, uh, a very good job with uh, with some new players arriving from France, you know, uh, and also with some young players like uh, uh, Antonio Prim, with uh, David Costa, with Madeira, who have, who, have, who have to become, you know, the 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 new leaders of this national team for the next four years. Oh, that's good to know uh now just a bit about you it's going to be your fourth rugby world cup you played in two were assistant coach to france and other and now head coach for portugal in this one do you remember your first game in a world cup and what was the feeling scoring two tries in that second match in 1987 uh, uh, if i remember the first game yeah do you remember your first game in the world cup my first game in the, in the world cup was against uh, scotland And I still remember it because I scored a try. That was uh, <laughs> it was good, and um, it was uh, there was a photo uh, in the newspaper in New Zealand newspapers showing that I I, I really scored that try. The problem is that we were we had a draw against uh, Scotland, and with that try, I, uh, we 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 could have we have win the, this game. That's why I still remember remember that that first game. Uh, yes.
Uh, and then and, uh, you were asking how many how many tries? Uh, or... and now and the, and do you remember and the second and... game? The second yeah. game against Romania, yeah. I scored two tries. Yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a good feeling. Yeah. Uh, yes, it was a it was a good feeling. It was a, not an easy game because it was very windy, and the Romania at that time was uh, uh, competing very well with the forwards, but we we were faster than, than them on the backs, and uh, I had good opportunities to. To score tries, yes. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now we're going to the last part of this interview. Just a quick question to cap things off. So, best player you have played with and that you coached? Our best player I've played with. I, I have two players that were fantastic uh, rugby players. Uh, it's uh, Serge Blanco and Philippe Sela. And I'm lucky because we are still very good friends and we, we can see each other. We we live in, in Pays Basque, uh, we, in the same country, in the same part of France, and we are still friends. And you said that the, who, uh, and the, coach, and the best and the player I played against? No, yes. you coach, that you coached. Ah, the best player I coached. Uh, oh, best player I coached. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, I, play, I, I coached so many good players. Uh, I would say also two two players that uh, have impressed me. I've coached uh, Joe Roth, the Australian uh, who was world champion, uh, is is one of the most impressive players that I co I've coached. And uh, the other one is maybe uh, Dimitri Yashvili, because Dimitri Yashvili could do anything with a rugby ball. He was uh, he had a fantastic technique and uh, he was understanding uh, all the strategy and, uh, uh, and coaching him in Biarritz uh, many years was a uh, was a fantastic experience. Oh, yes, really was a very good player. Uh, most special match of your career? Uh, most special match? Uh, oh, it was a semi final against Australia in '87 during the the, the, the the first World Cup. It was a uh, it was amazing. It was a uh, because we we were losing, we were winning, and uh, we were winning this game in the last second uh, uh, of this game, and it was a uh, it was an incredible scenario. Uh, a Portuguese player that has the power to make anyone laugh. Ah, Portuguese player. Who can uh, make the team laugh? Even who you. Who can make the team laugh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe David Costa. David Costa? Maybe David, yeah, maybe David Costa. Yes, yes. He's, uh, he's funny. Uh, I... Uh, Yes, uh, okay. but sometimes, sometimes the problem is that I don't, I don't understand well enough Portuguese. <laughs> I can understand a few things, but when they speak fast, it's a, it's difficult. Yeah, it's it's it's, difficult it's, it's a bit difficult. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, pastel de nata or bola de Berlin? Ah, oh, both. <laughs> I like both. <laughs> I, really, I like to have a bola de Berlin uh, during breakfast and uh, pastel de nata with the coffee. <laughs> oh, the you you can so okay both are good uh how would you define the lobos in just one word uh lobos uh oh, one word uh, this one uh proud pride proud. pride pride, pride to, wear the, to wear the jersey yes pride oh, to, to to defend the the the, the, the country uh, yes it's pride yes pride so to finish things off, a final message for the fans at home. You can do it in English. I would say, I, I don't know if you speak that fluent Portuguese, but if you want to say some Portuguese words, you can, but give a final message oh, to the people that are going to see the show. A Portuguese word, or to say, oh. No, you can say it in English. And if you want to say in the, in the end, obrigado. If oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really, uh, I'm really glad and uh, and lucky to to and uh, it's really a, it was really a chance for me to to meet all these Portuguese players to meet uh, the Portuguese rugby to discover the Portuguese rugby and uh, to to build uh, to, to, to build that project uh, with all these players and all, all the people who who, who who support rugby in uh, in Portugal. But to say that in Portuguese, it's uh, for me, it's impossible. It's enough. <laughs> I'm really it's sorry. It's enough. It's good. No, it's no, it's a shame. It's, it's a shame, but uh, it's impossible. It's a very complicated language. We get, uh, yeah. we get that a lot. Okay, uh, head coach Patrice Lajewski, thank you again for coming to the show and talking a bit with us. 
So good luck for the World Cup. I know it's starting just 10 days for you, but well, you are in there already. So good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.